Hello, I'm Steve Weissel, garden writer with the Vancouver Sun. It's a perfect day for doing cleanup in the garden. So let's go out and see what we can get done. I'm going to start today with this grass. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to just uh, spruce it up ready for spring. So there's a lot of dead stuff in this grass that all you ha simply have to do is pull out the dead stuff as much as you can from around the side. You see how much there is. It's quite a, a lot. So just simply pull it out, clean it all up. It should come up very easy. Look how much is coming up. It's amazing. And get that out of the way. Keep pulling, pulling. You just keep pulling like this all the way through the grass, raking your fingers through until you've pretty much got rid of that. And then you gather it into a, a nice little almost ponytail like this and give it a quick clip and that will that's cleaned it up and you can come back a second time and do a little more <laughs> that's a good cleanup job for February now you can go around the garden uh, all your ornamental grasses all the blue grasses particularly clean them up pull out the dead stuff and give them a haircut and you can do that throughout the garden and you'll be amazed how clean and fresh it will look so I'm just going around the garden going to all the grasses and giving them a haircut this morning now another little job we can do is to cut away the uh, diseased or damaged foliage around hellebores as you can see the flowers here are just emerging but the leaves look rather tatty um, these are, have been through winter but the, the plant itself is producing new leaves and will produce new leaves and uh, so what we can do is take away these these dead ugly looking leaves around the side like this just cut them out so we can cut these away and that will just allow the flowers to be more visible Now the next little job I want to do is to clean up a hydrangea. Normally I leave this till later in spring, maybe even as late as the end of February or March. Um, you just take off some of the dead things. I've already pruned this hydrangea back. Normally you take it back to two fat, healthy buds. Um, these are going to produce the flowers this year. So basically looking back into the stem and taking back to two healthy buds. And you can prune it back as far as you like. The dead uh, flower head is, I've already taken off. But there is a paniculata back there, which has still got some dead uh, flowers on it. I'm going to just take those off. It's really just a cleaner, just to make the plant look a little cleaner. I'm not going to do any serious pruning. Um, with these hydrangeas, you want to look for any dead wood. Um, but basically look for where the buds are coming. Those are going to produce your flowers this year. Don't really touch those. And if you need to take out any stuff, try to look for dead stuff that's got no buds on it and is unproductive. Here's a stem for instance, this one can come right out. See, that's not that's dead and useless. You can even scratch sometimes to see if there's any life. If there's any green in there, it might be mean life, but I, this one is completely dead. So what we're looking at here is just the dead flower on this paniculata. I'm just going to remove it just to clean it up. And here's another one over here. It is still really a little bit of a juvenile plant, so it doesn't really require a lot of pruning. It doesn't require a lot of pruning, but I'm just taking off the a few of the dead flowers from last year. It just makes it look cleaner for spring. Okay, so thanks for visiting. I'm going back to cleaning up the grasses, and uh, we'll see you next time.